Some people may think, how can it be that somebody can be both gay and a cowboy? Because the cowboy is the model of the macho, masculine man. That it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman, whether you're a butch or Nelly, everybody can find a place within our community and within our rodeo circuit. That's who we are. My name is Bruce Grow, and I'm the president of the International Gay Rodeo Association. We're celebrating our 30th anniversary of our finals rodeo today. Cowboys and cowgirls compete in 13 events so that the best of the best are represented in our sport at this event today. My name is Greg Begay. I'm an all-around cowboy, and I'm gay. I grew up on the Navajo Reservation. Being on the reservation, you kind of find things to do, and rodeo was one of them. Gay Rodeo is more than just a celebration. I think it's a place for people to be comfortable. I don't have to worry about hiding anything. Years ago, professional cowboys looked upon us as mocking their sport. As they've come to know us more, they've come to appreciate and understand the fact that we embrace the same sport they do. We may express it a little bit differently but we still have the same passion and dedication to being good competitors, good cowboys and good cowgirls that they do. Gay Rodeo offers a few different events that traditional rodeo doesn't. We offer wild drag race and goat dressing. In our rodeo, men and women can compete in every event equally. We're gonna see men in drag. I don't know that when people really come to know us, they're gonna find a more warm, supportive, friendly experience than they'll find here with us. Gay Rodeo is a safe space for people to be accepted with each other. I've established a rodeo family here. I can always count on people and they can count on me.